about 30 years ago, <clears throat> I was trying to figure out how to make cells do a better job and crank them up. <clears throat> and uh, it, it wasn't too long after they had discovered CoQ10. I think they, they had identified it as a molecule that was in the body, I think in the cell membranes, mostly back in the 50s. By 1970s, they had figured out that people with heart failure didn't have much of the CoQ10 in those tissues. And also, um, diabetics, chronic disease, but especially people with periodontal disease. And that stimulated them to move the research more into, well, what does CoQ10 do? And it turns out that CoQ10 makes energy in every single cell. Every cell has these little mitochondria in it, these little motors, hundreds of them, and they generate the ATP or the energy for that cell to do its job, whatever that, that job might be. So if it's a skin cell, that skin cell is going to reproduce and heal a wound faster. If it's a heart cell, that muscle is going to beat stronger. My interest, of course, was always the brain. How do I get more energy out of the brain? How do I make it work better? So I started using CoQ10 in fairly small amounts. I had no idea how much to use because nobody knew. Uh, it's hard to get it into the brain. So you have to use more than you think you do as a supplement. When you do that, you make more energy in those cells. We know that because um, in the heart muscle, which is a lot easier to measure than brain electricity, in the heart muscle, you can increase its pump action by another 6 to 10% after a few months on CoQ10. Well, that's huge because that make, might make the difference on whether you can walk across the room without huffing and puffing. Um, so it became a real fad sometime in the early 2000s to start doing that for cardiac muscle. Nobody really ever did it for the brain, so that's what I started doing. It turns out that also its main function inside the cell is a, an antioxidant. It is a very potent antioxidant, CoQ10. We all know vitamin E is an antioxidant, and vitamin C is an, antiox is an antioxidant. Those two, when they give up their electrons and they are now useless, CoQ10 can re-energize them. It turns them back into antioxidants and it can continue to do that so that you perpetuate the antioxidant effect of C and E, which is a phenomenal thing. In the brain, I use it mostly to, to crank up the cellular activity. If I can crank up cellular activity in the brain and I can couple it with vitamin K2 and D and acetylcarnitine and uh, PQQ, I can make new mitochondria, which means I can make more energy in every cell. And I can also make more repair in every cell. So if I have a brain damage, if I have Alzheimer's, if I have uh, Parkinson's, CoQ10 and those others together work in symbiosis to protect the cells. And we know it does. We know each one of them do that in separate research studies. So. CoQ10, a very important cell, subcellular uh, chemical that should be used all the time in everything.